For his solo record, Ace Frehley chose to produce it himself alongside Eddie Kramer. Ace played all of the guitars, sang all of the lead vocals, and played most of the bass. Anton Figg played the drums. Production-wise, the album sounds killer. Ace and Kramer were a good team. The guitar tone is perfect, and the entire record sounds big and in your face without ever getting muddled. Written by Ace, Larry Kelly, and Sue Kelly, this is an amazing opening track. From the second it starts, you know you're in for something great. The riff is great, the lyrics are stellar with the perfect amount of attitude from Ace's vocals, and the guitar solo is incredible. Big also deserves a shout out because he's a phenomenal drummer and he excels on this track. This song was written by Ace and Jeanette Fraley, Ace's then wife. It's another great track. I love that opening guitar lick. Lyrically, it's a lot of fun as well. Written by Ace, this song has a cool riff and a great guitar solo, but the song as a whole doesn't do much for me. It's fine, it's just not one of my favorites outside of the guitar. Written by Ace, this track features Will Lee on bass. I really love all of the guitar work on this song, but like with Snowblind, I don't really connect to it. I honestly think this song would have been better as an instrumental. Ace said, I was also one of the first guitar players in history to use a synthesizer guitar on record. I used it in the song Ozone, which was lots of fun, and Eddie and my assistant engineer, Rob Freeman, did a great job transferring that sound to tape. The device was called the ARP Avatar, and was elementary in design compared to the synthesizers available on the market today. Written by Ace, this is another great song. I love the lyrics, and the guitar solo was amazing. This is a cover. The original was written by Russ Ballard for the band The Hello People. Kramer said, My ex-brother-in-law, who's an engineer's assistant, and I were going through tapes and we found this song one day and gave it to Ace. We worked up the arrangement on it and man, that thing became a big hit. Ace said, The signature sound of New York Groove is that Akka Akka crunch at the beginning. It almost sounds as if it's being created on a guitar using a wah-wah pedal, but it's not. It actually was produced by using a device similar to the talk box used by Joe Walsh and Jeff Beck, and most famously, Peter Frampton on Frampton Comes Alive. It works like this. A speaker or driver is enclosed in a metal box into which a tube is inserted. Then a guitar is plugged into an amp, but the speaker output is routed through the box and the signal is routed back from the box into the amp again. The other end of the tube goes into the musician's mouth, allowing him to sing or talk in a manner that sounds as though the words being processed by the guitar in a weirdly robotic way. It was pretty funny, but it worked. As did another of Eddie's ideas. He suggested that we add loud rhythmic clapping to the song. To get that effect, we brought in a big, hollow, wooden box, and then three or four of us stomped on it together as hard as we could, and Eddie recorded the whole thing. It's a great song. It's so simple, but so effective. It's impossible not to sing along with it, although I do wish it had a guitar solo. Written by Ace, this song features Lee again on bass. It's a cool song with a lot of great guitar work. Written by Ace and Fig, this song also features Lee on bass. I think the verses of the song are really cool. It has a kind of Magic Carpet Ride vibe to it, but I think the chorus is really bad. It feels like it's from a different song. It sounds off to me. Wiped Out ends up being my least favorite track on the record. Written by Ace, this features Carl Tallarico on drums. The song is a terrific instrumental. It's one of the best songs Ace has ever written. The guitar parts are all fantastic, and it's a wonderful piece of music. Ace's record was the most successful of the four solo albums. While Gene Simmons' record did initially chart higher, Ace's has since become the highest selling. He was also the only one to earn a hit single with New York Groove, which peaked at number 13. The album peaked at number 26. I think it is the best of the four solo albums. It's the most consistent and just a really damn good rock and roll record. It really showcases how great a guitar player and songwriter Ace really was. It's a great record that I really like a lot. 